everybody, it's Lisa here from Rocco Baby Crochet and I'm here with this week's project for us. So we're getting into making festive things this week and we're going to be making this gorgeous advent calendar full of little mini stockings and we can put a treat in each stocking for every day. They're super cute, really fun to make. I've made this one for my mum so it's a little bit more traditional colours but I'm probably going to, well I'm hopefully going to be making one for myself in some brighter colours. Um, but really you can use any yarn you've got at all so it's a great project to use up some scrap yarns as long as it's DK weighted it's going to work great. This tutorial is supported by a free written pattern which is available over on the blog and there's a link to that, I'll pop it in the description of this tutorial but there's also a link in the banner on the YouTube page as well. So make sure you check that out and it just supports what's going on in this video a little bit further for you. Don't forget hit like and subscribe if you enjoy this uh, tutorial and there's content coming out every week for you and also we've got a little community building up over on Facebook so head on over there as well and join in that and you can share with us everything that you're making. So let's get into everything you need to make one of these gorgeous advent calendars. <music> that I've chosen to make my mini stockings with so they are all um, from the King Cole Glitz range which is a DK weighted yarn and um, this white one is called Diamond White then we've got the Cherry, Christmas Green and this one's called Christmas and they're really beautiful they've all got like a little shimmer running through them which matches the colour of the yarn they're really really pretty so these ones that I'm making currently are for my mum and she wanted more traditional colours so that's why I've gone for these three but you can pretty much use whatever you want, whatever colours that you want for this. I was going to make some in neon colours for myself, I'm not sure I'm going to have time to do that now since my mum put her order in but um, yeah you can, any, any colours you want. So apart from your yarn, what you're going to need is a 4mm crochet hook, some darning needles to sew in your loose ends, to weave in your loose ends. Stitch markers are going to be really handy in this project and you're also just going to need a pair of scissors. And that's pretty much it, so let's get into making our mini stockings. To begin the stocking, um, which is just made out of one colour, you want to take your chosen yarn, take the loose end and we're going to begin by making a magic ring. So hold on to the loose end of yarn on the back of your fingers with your thumb and what you want to do is around these two fingers just make the letter X by wrapping it around and then pull the yarn straight back down. When you turn your fingers over you'll have two parallel lines of yarn. Pop your hook underneath this first one and grab onto the, onto the second one and pull it through. Twist up your, your needle or your hook. Hook onto that one again, the same line, and pull it through. And that's how we do the magic ring. So you want to chain one to begin with. And then you're going to turn your magic ring so the loose the loose end of yarn is on your left so it's just here and when you pull on that the ring gets smaller so if you make it to a size that's manageable for you to work around and into this magic ring for round one we are just going to be placing six UK double crochets so that's six US singles so you're going to insert your hook straight into that magic ring pull up a loop two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both those loops and we're going to do that in total six times so there's one, insert my hook again, pull up a loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through both loops, that's two. Now don't forget your stitch markers especially if you're new in crochet pop that into your first stitch so you can identify it easy when we come to close this round up so I've done two, there's three, 
four, five, and six. So to join this round, what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch to the very first stitch. But first we just need to close our circle. And how we do that, how we turn this into a circle, is just by pulling on that loose end of yarn and it pulls it all round and pulls it tight. And then we've got our stitch marker here in, in our first stitch. And what we want to do is just pop that stitch marker out for a second. And where you take your stitch marker out of, we're just going to slip stitch into this very first stitch. So you're going underneath both the strands of yarn on the top of this stitch, pull through the yarn and then pull through the loop that's on your hook and that's a slip stitch. So what we're doing for round two is we're not going to place anything for the moment into this um, stitch here that the slip stitch is coming out of. We're going to move directly into the next stitch along, so just into this one here. And we're going to place two UK half treble crochets. So you're going to yarn over, insert your hook underneath the top of that stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. So you'll have three loops on your hook now. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then we're going to do exactly the same in the same stitch. So yarn over, back into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. Now before I move any further on, I'm going to pop my stitch marker back into the top of this first stitch so we don't lose it. But for round two, we're just going to repeat that in every stitch along. We're going to place two UK half trebles into each stitch. So at the end of round two, you'll have a total of 12 stitches. So if you want to go ahead and do that and come back to me when you've got your 12 half trebles. So I've just got my last stitch to work into, which is here. So I'm just going to work my last two half treble crochets. One. And then a second one back into that same stitch and two and then we're just going to slip stitch to this first stitch here that we made but instead of slip stitching underneath the whole of the stitch we're just going to slip stitch into this back loop here so this gives us a neater finish on the outside of our stocking as well so it looks a little bit nicer so how you've got the two strands of yarn which makes up the top of this stitch one and two here see that V we are just going to be inserting our hook underneath the back loop of it so if you just insert your hook just under that back loop there pull through the yarn and pull through and that just uh, slip stitches round two closed so you can pop your stitch marker out now and we're going to move into the next stitch along. So we're not again, we're not putting anything where we slip stitch. We're moving to this next stitch here. And you're going to be placing two half treble crochets into this stitch. So just as you did before, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And then back into the same stitch, yarn over, insert your hook yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three and that's the two into my first stitch so let me just grab my stitch marker just to mark that off so I'm just going to pop my stitch marker into that first stitch so I don't lose it when I come back to the other end and then into my next stitch I'm just going to place one half treble crochet into the next stitch I'm going to place two and you're just going to repeat this all the way around, alternating two half treble crochets into one stitch and then one single treble crochet. So this one is two, one and two and then one into the next one, 
two into the next one, one into the next one and so on until you get back to here. So once you've got all your stitches, you'll have a total of 18 stitches. So I'll meet you back when I'm coming towards the end of this round if you'd like to hit pause. Okay, so my very last stitch is going to be placed here into this stitch where my slip stitch was before. So it's a little bit tighter, but I'm just going to place my very last half treble crochet into there. And then again, we're going to slip stitch to this first stitch here, which we've marked with the stitch marker. But I'm just going to again slip stitch it into the back loop only. So you just want to insert your hook just under that back strand of yarn. Yarn over, pull through. And then pull through again just to slip stitch it closed. So round four through to round seven is repeat rows. And all you're going to do in this, in round four and round seven is we're going to place at one half treble crochet into every stitch along for a total of 18 stitches. So there's two, And again, you're just keeping it so it's the stitch next to your slip stitch as your first stitch. Joining by slip stitch into the back loop of each first stitch when you're moving up around. So you'll notice now that the work is starting to um, turn up and that's exactly what you want it to do. So this is making the toe of the stocking. So I'll just finish this round with you. I've got four stitches left to work. And there's my last one will always be going into the same place on this project. So into this smaller stitch here where you slip stitched in the previous round. And you'll always be placing your last one into there. So I'm moving up to row five. So again, I'm going to look for just that back loop, which is just there. So out of the two strands of yarn, which are sitting on top of your... Um, stitch marker it's the one that's furthest away you just want to pop your hook underneath that yarn over pull through and then pull through the loop on the hook and that just slip stitches it closed so I'm going to work rounds five six and seven in identical ways so if you want to hit pause and come back to me when you have finished round seven and I'll show you how we work the heel of the stocking. Okay so I've just placed my last stitch into round seven and before I join it what I like just to do at this point is pop a stitch marker into your yarn there, turn your stocking inside out and I just like to sew in this loose end here for my magic ring because it gets a little bit difficult to sew that in later on when we've made the stocking. So I do it earlier on makes life a little bit easier. So it doesn't have to be too neat, but what I do make sure that I do is that I'm running underneath just the backs of these stitches so that it's not showing through the front of my work. So let me just find a couple of stitches. Uh, okay. And I'll just run my needle through four or five stitches and pull through that loose end. Then I'll go back the opposite way. And then I usually do it three times. Going back under those same stitches, I just skip the first one each time. And I can take my darning needle off. Give it a little bit of a stretch just so that it's not pulling on your work and misshaping it and then grab your scissors and you can trim that loose end then. 
and then turn it back the right way and what we want to do is we want to pop our hook back in to this loop and we're just going to slip stitch it to the very first stitch again just using the back loop only so this is my very first stitch here and I'm just going to slip stitch it into the back loop of that stitch only pull through and pull through and then you're going to want to grab your stitch marker again just to keep that in place and we're going to make the heel. So you're going to want to grab the colour of yarn that you're making your heel in. So I'm making mine in white. And the way I like to join it is I like to make a slip knot. You don't need a lot of um, yarn on this loose end because we're going to sew, um, crochet that in. So you make I make a slip knot, pop my hook in there pull on my working yarn just to tighten it up and what you're going to do is you're going to insert your hook into the fourth stitch along so if we count them so we've got one two three and there is our fourth stitch there just double check them so that's one, two, three and four and we're just going to slip stitch to join that. So pull through the yarn and pull through it again. Now what I like to do is carry my yarn across underneath me where I'm making the heel and it just saves me having to sew this loose end in later. So in the very next stitch from where you've just joined, so into this stitch here, you're going to be placing a UK double crochet. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through them both. Into this next stitch here, you're going to be placing a half treble crochet. Next stitch along, another half treble crochet. And then into the next five stitches along, we're going to be placing one treble crochet. So this is UK treble, US double. So you're yarning over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through a loop. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, two, three. Four and five then into the next two stitches we're going to place one half treble crochet so that's one and two and then into the very next stitch we're going to place one double crochet and then we're going to finish this off by slip stitch into this next stitch so insert your hook pull up a loop and pull through and then you're just going to turn your work and on top of this double crochet here you're just going to place another double crochet and then one half treble on top of the other half trebles so in the next two stitches half trebles and then one UK treble into the, each of the next five stitches so that's one two three four and five and then into the next two stitches one half treble so there's one and two and then into this very last stitch here you're just going to place 
a UK double and then you're going to slip stitch it to exactly where you began where you've joined it so we're back into this stitch here make a slip stitch and then turn so on top of your double again you're going to place another double into the next two stitches one half treble crochet into each of those one and two one UK treble into the next five stitches one two three four five one half treble into the next two stitches one and two and then into this last stitch here you're going to place a UK double and then you're just going to slip stitch it to where we've previously slip, slip stitched again chain one grab your scissors leave yourself three inches or so snip that loose end and then you can move your white yarn out of the way because we're done with it for now until we come to do the trim of the stocking pull up on that loose end and then hold that chain one and pull firmly on your loose end of yarn and that will just knot that for you so what I like to do is I like to weave this end in between the tops of my stitches again this is just saving me having to sew later on in the project so I like to hide my loose ends as I go along so just keep working your way weaving your stitches in and out just got a couple more left to do and then I always leave the loose end of yarn so it's on the inside of the inside of the work but I'll not trim that yet until I've done my first go round in the green so let's make the um, rest of this stocking so it's really really easy from now so pop your hook back into that stitch and you're moving on to the stitch again next to where you've slip stitched to joined and you've got one, two, three, four here and you're going to place one half treble into each of those four stitches so there's one and two and I'm just going to pop my stitch marker in the top of that first one now for round eight the stitch count is going to be still the same as round seven so we're going to have a total of 18 stitches so the fourth one takes us to where we joined the stocking three and four and then we're going to add one into each of the stitches up on the top here so yarn over, insert your hook here into your first stitch on the top of your heel so that's five and then one half treble in each of the stitches along six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 
13, 14 and 15 into the last stitch on the top of the heel, the white of the heel and then that brings us to here. So we're going to be stitching back where our slip stitches are, joining the white to the green and that's 16. half trebling the one next to it for 17 and then that brings us back to the very last stitch in this round and we're going to place one last one into our slip stitch stitch from the round before and that is our 18 stitches so again we are just I'm just going to get rid of that end of yarn from the white from the heel so it doesn't get too messy in here. So just trim that away. Pop my hook back in and we're going to move on to row 9. So for rows 9, 10, 11 and 12, they're all identical. So they're all exactly the same. What you want to do is this first stitch here, you are just going to slip stitch it just into the back loop only so insert your hook just underneath that back loop and slip stitch to join the round pop out your stitch marker and then into the stitch next to it here you're just going to place one half treble and in every stitch along that's all you're going to do one half treble UK total of 18 stitches so you're going to do that for row 19 sorry row 9 row 10 row 11 and row 12 joining every time just using the back loop only so i'll let you work your way through those rows and i'll come back to you when i finish row 12 so I'm at my last two stitches now of row 12. So this is my last one here. And then to finish this off, I'm just going to slip stitch to this next stitch along here. Slip stitching under both strands of yarn which make the top of that stitch this time. And pull through, yarn over and chain one. And then I'm just going to cut about three inches loose end pull through on that yarn and pull down on that chain one to knot it so where we've knotted here where we've knotted our work is where we're going to join the um, white yarn so if you grab your white yarn or whatever you've decided to trim your stocking in and I like popping it on my hook first, so I'm going to make a slip knot just to attach the white to my hook and pull on my loose end, tightening that up. And I'm just going to insert my hook just underneath where this knot is here, where I have closed the top of round 12. And you're just going to slip stitch to join. And I carry my loose ends across with me to make it quicker later on. And into every stitch along here, so you're moving into your stitch next to where you've just joined your yarn. So I'm moving into this stitch here. And we're just going to place one half treble crochet in every stitch along for a total of 18 stitches. So one, two, three don't forget your stitch markers three so that's four five six Seven. I'll just trim those loose ends now out of the way. Just grab my scissors. Do 
just trim them so they're not getting in the way and then carry on so it's eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen Seventeen, and you're just going to place your last stitch here where your slip stitch is. See that just into there, and that's our 18 stitches. So then you're just going to slip stitch to this first chain here. You're going to go onto both the strands of yarn which make the top of the stitch so it's just a regular slip stitch to close that round and then you're going to move on and you're going to, we're going to slip stitch work our way slip stitching around this top of the boot and we're going to make the little hang around here but you want to keep we're doing a row of just slip stitches now but you want to keep your slip stitches quite loose or else otherwise it'll pull your stocking inwards and make this narrower up at the top. So moving into your next sit, stitch, insert your hook, pull through the yarn, keeping it nice and tall stitch, keeping it nice and loose and pull through. Then moving to your next one, do exactly the same, keep it nice and loose and pull through. Pop your stitch marker underneath that first one that we just did, just so you know where it is. The actual first slip stitch we did, not the slip stitch we used to join. And then we're going to do a third. Fourth. Five. Six and then seven and then we before we move into our eighth one we're just going to chain seven one two three four five six seven so the little loops that we're hanging these with uh, if I show you on this they're just big enough to fit my, my finger through now if you wanted to make these loops bigger, if you was hanging them for using them on your tree or something like that, you might want to make this chain longer so it suits what you're using this for. But because I'm attaching this to bunting, I'm just going to chain seven. And then once I've chained my seven, you're just going to slip stitch into the eighth stitch along, so the one next to it, just to form that loop. and then slip stitch you should have 10 stitches left so let's do these together so that's one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, and there we go. So we've just got this last one here to work into, which is right here. So we've got our stitch count correct. And then you just want to slip stitch it to this very first slip stitch that we did here. Chain one and fasten off. So it can be really tricky to get it underneath this stitch. Just take your time. 
pull through, chain one and then cut yourself about three or four inches just to sew in that loose end. Pull upon that and pull your loose end holding on to that chain one and that will tighten it and knot the work. So all I do then, and there's the top of our stocking. They're so cute. They really, they really are lovely. So then just to finish this off, to sew in this loose end, I'm just going to thread my darning needle. And what I like to do is I like to just take this and pop it through a stitch here. So it's on the back, but I just take a little bit of time just playing around with this knot here that it's not sticking out too much. You just have to manipulate it a little bit so it looks good. And then I just run my needle through the back stitches of these very first stitches of white here, just on the back side of the stitches so it's not poking through the front. So once I've gone through sort of four or five stitches, pull that through, skip this first one and go through the rest of the same stitches, pull it through, again skip the first one and go back underneath the same stitches, so that's a third time, so that should be nice and secure now. Pull it through and take your darning needle off. Give it a little stretch just to make sure that it's not pulling again. And then you can cut off that loose end. And that's how we make the um, stockings in a plain colour. So next we're going to show you how to make them in the stripy colours. But I think they look lovely, don't they? They're so pretty. I love them. I'm feeling very Christmassy. So let's make a stripy one for you. So you want to take, I've done, I've started with the colour red at the toe. So take the colour that you choose. Again, you're going to make a magic ring exactly how you have been doing for the plain ones. So the pattern is the same, it's just we're changing colours. Chain one, turn your magic ring so your loose end is on the left of you. Make it a nice size to work around and again you're going to do your, your six UK double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five and six pull your loose end on your magic ring to draw your circle together and slip stitch to your very first to the top of your very first double crochet just to close that ring off So moving into the next stitch, so we're not working anything where we've done the slip stitch, we're going straight into the stitch next to it. Again, as before, we're going to place two UK half trebles in every stitch in this round, so the sti six stitches, so you'll have a total of 12 half treble crochets for round two. So there's one, two... Ten. And then my last stitch here is where I slip stitched. 
bit more difficult to see on the red but it's just here where I've slip stitched it I'm going to place two in there don't forget the written pattern that supports this tutorial as well eleven and then that is our twelfth stitch so what we want to do here is we're going to colour change next so round three we're going to do in your second colour choice so for me it's the green but we're not we don't want to cut the yarn because we, we're alternating colours now um in the round so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this red yarn just to the front of my work you always want to pull when you're doing two different colour changes one to the front when you're swapping colours and one to the back and keep it that way or else you'll end up um, in all kinds of knots later on your wool will get um, tangled together further down so keep it the same way each time and what you want to do is just slip underneath the back stitch of your first stitch in row two as we did when we were making the plain ones just like that and then you're going to attach your second colour choice and you're going to finish off the slip stitch with your second colour choice and then you want to then you can take your red yarn back to the back but don't do it at the at the beginning or else you'll end up all in a tangle with your different colours of yarns okay so then you go into once you've attached that green take out your stitch marker and you're going to move on to the stitch next to where you've slip stitched like we have done in the pattern before and you're just going to be placing two half trebles into that first stitch one and two you don't need a stitch marker as much anymore because um, you can easily see where your first stitch is now that we've got them in the two different colours so that's one two and then into the next stitch along you're just going to place one and it's alternate stitches again for this next stitch along we're placing two half trebles one two so then the next one is one two into the next one one into the next one two into the next one one two one into the next one two into the next one and then one one and two into this next one and then our last stitch here is where we did our slip stitch as well we're just going to be placing one into that one so now we want to move over to the red so drop the green towards the back and pick up the red and you're just going to again slip stitch just into the back loop of this very first stitch here so insert your hook onto the back loop of the stitch and instead of pulling through the green pull through the red because we're changing colour and pull that through and then you can just drop the green and let it hang at the bottom for a little bit so then we're moving on to the stitch that's next to where we've just joined the red and we're just going to be placing one half treble crochet in every stitch along for a total of 18 stitches three four 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. I'll just get some more yarn. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and then I've got that one last stitch there to work is our 18th stitch. Pull your red towards the front, pick up your green, insert your hook into the back loop only of that first stitch and pull through the green and then pull it through again just to close that round and then pop your red to the back of your work once you've done that little movement. So then the, the next row, so we're going to move up onto row 5 next. So row 5, 6 and 7 are all identical. So you're just going to do exactly the same now. So it's one half treble crochet in every stitch along. Total stitch count remains 18 for each round. And you're just going to swap and change the colours like I've just showed you how to do. And if you continue to do that, and um, once you've got to row seven, if you want to come back to me, so if you press pause now and come back to me when you get up to that point. Okay, so I'm at my last stitch now of row seven and I'm just gonna place my last half treble in there. And then um, we're going to slip stitch it again so going through the back loop only dropping the green to the back picking up the red and finishing that slip stitch off there to join it now we're working the pattern it's identical the pattern as if we were working it in a solid color i just wanted to show you how i did my color changes so i'm going to work my heel again so pick you up your color that you're working your heel in, so mine are all in the white. Make yourself a slip knot, and in the fourth stitch from where we've just slip stitched is where we want to join the white. So if we have a look here, so we've got one, two, three, so we're joining it here in this fourth um, stitch. So just don't forget to tie in your loose ends as well. So we're just going to join with a slip stitch there. Carry your loose end over, save you having more to sew in. And we're working the heel exactly the same as we did before. So in the next stitch along to where we've joined it, you're going to place a double crochet. Then in the next stitch, a half treble. Next stitch along a half treble and then one treble into each of the next five stitches. Don't forget I'm using UK terms. Three. Four and five. So UK trebles are US doubles. Then into the next stitch you're going to place a half treble, half treble into the next again and then you're going to place one double crochet and then you're going to slip stitch it then to this next stitch. Let's get that loose end in there as well and pull through turn your work and work back so into the top of its double you're going to place another UK double 
one half treble crochet into the next two stitches, one UK treble into the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five one half treble crochet in the next two stitches one and two and then one double crochet into this last one here slip stitch it to where you've joined your yarn turn and work your way back one last time in the white so placing another double crochet on top of that last double crochet one half treble in the next two stitches along one treble crochet into the next five stitches along so that's one two three four and five one half treble into the next two stitches one and two and then you should have that one last stitch left to work one UK double into just into there and then slip stitch it back into the same stitch that your other slip stitches have gone in chain one leave two or three inches and cut your yarn pull up your hook hold on to that chain one and pull firmly on that loose end to secure the knot and what I'm just going to do before I go any further is I'm just going to turn my work inside out and I just want to sew in that loose end from the magic ring. And then it's done before we go any higher with the stocking. So just thread your darning needle. and just find a couple of stitches just to run your needle through just making sure you're only going through the back of the stitches and you're not coming out through the front because you don't want it showing up on the front of the work and then run your needle back through the same stitches again Again, just making sure that they're only coming onto the back of the work. Pull that through and then one last time just through those last couple. Give it a little pull then you can trim that loose end then and it saves you having to go back and do it when you've made the full stocking. Turn it back and we've already changed over to the red so we've already done our slip stitch so you want to pop your hook take your stitch marker out and pop your hook into that loop there I just give a little tug on that green just to make sure it's a bit secure and you're going to again same as when we made the plain one one half treble all the way around starting in the stitch next to where we've slip stitched so your first four stitches will take you to the white of the beginning of your stocking two three and four my fifth half treble of round eight should be on top of my first double crochet from the heel so that's five 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteenth one is going into the stitch where the rest of our slip stitches went. So just down here, so that's sixteen. Let me just get a little bit more yarn. So we should have two stitches left to work. So that is 17. And then we've got our last stitch just here, 18. So we're gonna drop the red, but because it's the red, just pull it to the front for the set for a second. And you're just gonna insert your hook underneath the back loop of the first half treble crochet that we did. So just insert your hook, pick up the green and pull the green through, pull it through. Pull on that red just to tighten up the top of the stitch and then drop your red round the back. And that's how we do, my, that's how I do my colour changes. And then you're just going to work one half treble crochet in every stitch around so you'll have a total stitch count of 18 for rows 9, 10, 11 and 12 which we're just going to be doing now and we'll, I'll just do this round and I'll show you one last time how I change my colours over I think this stripy one is definitely my favourite. It's definitely an elf sock, this one. Okay, so I'm going to just work my last half treble, drop my green to the back, pick up my red, insert my hook onto the back loop only of my first half treble crochet, pull through and pull through to close that round, pull on that green a little bit to secure the stitch and then I can start on row 10 and I'm starting in the stitch next to where I've slip stitched and again row 10, one half treble in every stitch around for a total of 18 stitches and you're going to do exactly the same with rows 11 and 12 alternating your colour and then if you come back to me when you're at that point and I will show you how we do the trim. So if you want to hit pause and you finish off these last couple of rows doing your colour changes like I've just showed you and then we'll do the trim on the stocking. So I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I'm just at the end of row 12 and I'm just going to slip stitch it to close this round but going underneath both the loops to close this last round, slip stitch, chain one and cut off a couple of inches of yarn. I've already sewn in my green yarn because I've finished with that one as well, just cut off and when I finished the round and sewed it in on the back here. I'm 
and then I'm just going to attach my white just to do the trim. So I'm just going to attach my white yarn to my hook with a slip knot to begin with. Insert it into the same space here that I have secured the end of row 12 with. And I'm just going to slip stitch it to attach that. Now I like to carry over my ends. So I'm going to crochet around my ends as well. And we're going to do one half treble crochet in every stitch for a total of 18 stitches. Two. Three and eighteen, and then just slip stitch to close to your first half treble. So then we're going to do the slip stitching in the first seven stitches. So insert your hook, remember keep these lovely and loose, you don't want these to be tight. So there's one slip stitch, two slip stitches and place a stitch marker just under that first one that you've done. Not the slip stitch that has joined it but the slip stitch which we've done there. So that's our first one. three, four, five, six, and seven. So then you're going to chain seven for five, six and seven and then slip stitch into the one next to it. So you've got 11 slip stitches so that's one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and here's your last one. Eleven, and then take your stitch marker out of that first slip stitch that we did. And we're just going to slip stitch to close this round underneath that very, that first stitch, slip stitch. Hey, there's a lot of slip stitches. I'm getting all my S's mis mixed up. And then chain one. Cut yourself three or four inches. Pull up on that yarn. And pull to secure. And then you just need to tie that in exactly the same way as we did when we made the plain one. Okie dokie, so you tie that in and I'll do mine and then we'll come to making the bunting. So if you press pause and come back to me when you've got all your loose ends sewn in. Okay, so to join your bunting together, I've chosen the white yarn to join mine um, all together with. So you want to take the colour that you've chosen and you're going to make a slip knot. 
and to begin with you are going to chain a total of 28 so you just yarn in over and pull through yarn over pull through yarn over pull through so that's three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven and twenty eight so then what you want to do is um, I've got all my stockings ordered in the colour that I want. So I'm going to start off, I want a stripey one at the beginning. So just pop that on your hook through the loop before you make your next chain. And then just carry on and chain as you have been doing. And then you're going to do another eight chains. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're going to grab your next stocking. So I'm going to use the variated one, pop it on and do another chain through there just to attach it on. And then another eight chains, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Grab your next one, so I'm going to do a red one next, pop it on your hook and then just continue, make another chain and then eight more chains, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pop your next one on, do another chain which connects your stocking on like that and then another eight chains one two three four five six seven and eight a bit more yarn so I'm going to do a green one next so pop it onto my hook through that loop that we made pick my yarn back up and just continue to chain one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then another variated one, variegated. I always say variated instead of variegated, and then just chain again. Then once I've attached that one. Oops, nearly lost it. And then eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll show you one last time. So I'm back to the stripey colour. Pop it on the hook with the loop that we've made and then chain it on. So you're pulling the yarn through that loop and then once you've done that chain, do another eight chains, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you just continue to do that until you have got all your stockings on and I'll meet you back when I've done all mine. So I'll see you back shortly and I'll just show you how we finish off the project. Okay, so I'm just going to attach my last stocking. So pop it onto my hook, pick my yarn back up, finish that chain off and then I'm going to chain 28 now just to finish it off. So one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 and 28. And then I'm just going to cut my yarn. And pull through that yarn and pull tight on that just to secure those last stitches. And there we have it. Our lovely Christmas stocking bunting. I think it's so cute. So I hope you've all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoy making your advent calendars or if you're using them for Christmas tree decorations. Um, let me know how you get on with the comments below. And if you do make one, then I'd love to see it over on Rocco Baby Crochet. So make sure that you go over there and show me if you do make one of these gorgeous advent calendars. But that's it for me from now. So I will see you real soon with our next tutorial. So take care, everybody. Happy hooking. Bye.